More love. Yay. Where am I? Here I am. How are you guys? So good. Look at this, everybody. Oh my gosh, you guys all. We're sorry. I'm sorry. We're late. Yeah, it's it's. I don't know what was going on. Nothing would. Everybody? Nothing would connect. Of course, that always yeah. happens when you need it to. But I'm happy right. to see everybody. I've missed everybody. I haven't seen. I've been logged all the way off. Mm hmm. I've not been in Discord. I have not been anywhere. Hey, everyone. I'm trying to catch up to things, but I'm sure there's plenty that I have missed. And I'm I not even so. a little bit sorry. Been having the best time in my life. Yes, I'm so happy for you. I'm I'm, I'm happy it. that you're here, you know, but I'm happy that you have haven't been here. Yeah. So and it's I'm weird without you. It's just weird. When I'm up here by myself, I'm just like I miss her. <laughs> Like you didn't have a channel for eight years before me. Come on, girl. <laughs> I know that's what's crazy. I'm just, how did I? I don't remember what I did. <laughs> hey, Calamity. Hey, everybody. Yeah. Oh, oh, it's been. Hi, oh. Earth. How are you? Are you getting in trouble? Like uh, somebody clipped you, and Earth was on a bit big panel, and it sounded like there was fussing. Not fussing. Yeah, fussing. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I said. Do I want to get into this fuss? Nah. <laughs> nope. <laughs> Sorry, Earth. Johnny, young girl. <laughs> Love you, Earth. Love you from a distance. <laughs> good luck. <laughs> Looks like you're holding it down pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. I don't no, know what's going was, on. Though. If I squint tight and then I squint and tilt my head, you look like you're doing great. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oh, yes, thanks, Deb. So. I have been, I have missed everybody. I absolutely have. I've got, you know, messages that I haven't gotten back to. I'm so sorry, y'all. I know Discord, there's messages in Discord. There's messages everywhere. I'm so sorry. Give me a, give me a little bit to catch up. Oh, I'm uh, sorry. I'm still not really I back. No, she's not. I'm still not really back. Randy asked me to go, you know, just for a little quickie today. And so I said I could. Mm -hmm. Um, But then I'm signing right back off and back to uh, back to my life because I have been loving I every day. See it's been fantastic. See. Yeah, I'm so happy for you. I am. It's been so much fun. Yeah, it's been great. It's been really fun. And yeah, I'm happy for me. Yesterday, you know, I, we, I sent you the pictures. So yes, we're. I love when it gets warm outside. I just love it. Love it. No, um, Pammy B. Fun. I love good old lady nap. Those are great. <laughs> those are great. Mm -hmm. I took one of those today too. <laughs> so, listen, so did I because <laughs> yesterday we uh, um I don't know what got into me, but I'm glad it did. Hey Clancy. And I cleaned like a demon just scrubbing everything yes. everywhere. Yes. And then they're like, hey, let's made at the park. So for two solid hours i did not stop at the park oh boy yeah yeah and that was after whatever happened to me cleaning yes so, so you were um, exhausted i'm sure yes. so kids never run out of energy at the park ever seems it, like the it not. seems like the park just gets them more energized which is amazing and magic <laughs> Old demon of mine came back, kind of forced me to come back after a long break. I got it, and no, I'm being good. Now, no, I believe you. <laughs> yeah, you're not. Nobody's green right now. We will. We've. I've got 90 days to learn my lesson. <laughs> it's my fault. I mean, I could sit up here and be a victim, but I'm not. <laughs> it's my fault. <laughs> oh, so, I'll take it. I gotta deal with it. I, I mean, we've got to be down to like 87 days by now, right? Like it was 90 a couple days ago. So we're counting yeah, down, right? In my mind, it's going to be 90 till it's one, I guess. Because I just keep saying 90 <laughs> days. All right. I love that kind of math. That's good math. I yeah, I like that math. It, uh, You know, it, lesson is, if you see something you find funny, don't upload it to your YouTube channel. Right. I mean, if you if you see a video somewhere that you enjoy, you can copy it. And then just keep mm -hmm. it, you know, on your own little device. You don't have to share it with the world. 
Um, and transform it a little, maybe. Or, you know, yeah, transform it a little. I went and looked through my videos and I was like, okay, I'm, I'm looking through mine and I do transform mine. So I think I'm okay. Mm -hmm. Um, because I figure if they're gonna, if they're after you, they're, you know, they're gonna take a gander over at my channel and see if there's anything <laughs> over there. <laughs> and, uh, I, th I think I'm okay. I think I'm okay. So, well, I guess we'll find out though. So, oh, I just got a, I just got a cash app. Thank you so much. I was raised to share. That. Well, thank you, Warrior Grandma. That's right. I was raised well, to share too. Don't share it on YouTube. They get cranky mm -hmm. about right. it, apparently. And then... Um, listen, here's why I didn't win the appeal. I completely misunderstood what it said. And it said, okay, so what it said was make sure you show your URL within the first 30 seconds of the video. What I read was you've got 30 seconds, bitch. <laughs> I love that you put the bitch in there too. You've got 30 seconds, bitch. Make it count. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. And I'm just like, hi, my name is Randy. This is my channel. I think you're wrong. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Have a blessed day. <laughs> Have a blessed day. I love YouTube. And they you said, we're so sorry, nice. ma'am. And they said, you didn't do enough of anything <laughs> to get your shit back. <laughs> Oh, that's so funny. I know, yeah, but I, that's it. I panicked and I thought, because when I was talking, I'm like, you're going over your 30 seconds, Randy. <laughs> You've got so. 30 seconds, bitch. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you fucked up. Yes. Oh, dear. Well, all right. Well, that's good to know. I mean, if anybody else gets messages like that, maybe, you, you have, know, give it, give you it a second glance. You, yeah, you, you got five minutes. You know, 30 seconds. You can make it for five minutes and within the first 30 seconds, just show the URL to your channel. That's all. So not they need the URL so that they know like what channel, because they're not going to just go by the name of your channel. They want to see the actual URL of your channel. Yes. So that they I know are what, because your email, the fact that it's coming from your email is not good enough. They need to, that seems so weird to me that they would need that. Oh, but. no. I had to make a video and then put it on Unlisted and send it to them. Yes, I know that. I do know that. Yeah. 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 I, I don't. I just, you know but what? But it's so I funny had... that we didn't. But it wasn't until after that that we figured out, like, what the issue was. Hey, November Rain, good to see you, honey. What? Because we did, not like the, we, we did not get what the issue was. Like, what are you talking about? What do you mean reuse content? I have no idea. What you, you know, we had no idea. What they were talking about. And then finally I asked Randy. I said. Do, do you have people's videos on your channel. That you didn't. That you just put up there. And she goes. Well yes I might have a few. <laughs> <laughs> Did you oh, check that guy. Your <laughs> Did you check that guy. Out that <laughs> I, had, I had a video of a man. Or a woman. I think well it looked like a man's hands. But who am I to gender. Misgender somebody. That made a. What did he make out of a piece of rice? Yes, he made Godzilla with a piece Godzilla, of rice. Godzilla, yes. And, and I was oh, like, no. amazing. I watched it over and over. I'm like, this is so, I wish I could do this. Mm -hmm. I can't even draw Godzilla. And here this guy is making him out of a one little piece of rice. Yeah, the grain of rice. I know. Yeah. Can you imagine the headache yeah. after that? Like the squinting alone. Like you have to have good magnifying glasses, I would imagine. Yeah, yeah. And he teeny, looked like he was teeny looking little tools little. because just a regular nail Dremel, it's got to be even smaller than that. And he carved it. It looked great. It was amazing. It was amazing. But yes. I guess if you're going to upload something like that, upload it, take the audio away and put like Godzilla roaring or something. Yes. That way you've transformed but it and then it's your video now. Now you can upload it. I learned, let, listen, YouTube, if you want to go ahead and make my people green, I learned my lesson, please. Yes, lesson learned. Yeah. And and I got a cash app too. Thank you so much. Don't want to say your name. And uh, thank you for the PayPal, Shamat. Love you. Thank y'all. Yes. 
so yeah, that's what we did. Spent hours at the park for me to learn a. I'm way out of shape, and B. Skeet said, "I said, come on, let's swing," and he said, "No, you too big." <laughs> <laughs> okay now we know that skeet's not body shaming okay for he's a no. little he's a little boy he's little in so his mind i'm i'm gaga i'm old i'm old. way too old to be on the swings what am i doing <laughs> yeah get your walker get your tennis balls on there and get Get off the screen. Oh, Pretend you're talking on the phone to me through that loud thing over there. That's. <laughs> I was like, oh, I can't believe I used to wish you could talk. That's... <laughs> <laughs> Only gets better from here, girl. <laughs> oh, it's fun. It's a good time. It, it is. is. It is. He hey, said, crazy. that's not fun. That's not fun. That's not fun. <laughs> Y'all remember when he couldn't talk? <laughs> yeah, I'm like, do you want to? We always wish. The, we wish we want them to walk. spin around. He's like, walk. that's no. <laughs> hey, Angel, good to see you, hon. Yeah, we want that's them to the... do all these things, and then they start doing all these things, and you're like, oh no, 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 this is not going how I planned. I just got another cash up. Thank you. It says I've missed you, Wendy, but so Aww. happy for you. Oh, thank you so much, honey. Thank you. That is very sweet of you. Yes, I have missed everybody too. Hey, yep. So what? It's good to see you. I haven't seen Swingy you in a while. Busy for days. I, yeah, I haven't been on a swing in a minute. Yeah, oh, a minute. it's 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 terrible. You remember yeah. when? Okay, here we go again. But when you're a kid and you 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 get the swing as high as you can, and then you would just jump off it. Like, yes, like and fly. Yes, yeah. I would fly. Yes. <laughs> And and narrowly, narrowly, I don't even know if that's a word, hit the cement block wall that surrounds the playground. <laughs> like how I didn't crash my face into that wall, I'll never know. Because I would get to the wall. I would that I would fly that hard. I would swing so high that Dolly. the legs would come up out of the dirt. You know, the legs of the yes. poorly constructed place play set in your friend's mm -hmm. backyard. Yeah, those things <laughs> that have no business being uh legal in any state uh heck yeah we rode that thing into the ground and yeah we'd fly off of it i would do flips yep i would flip off of it oh you didn't say flip off of it you said flip people off oh my god pam malone my daughter has taught oh. my two-year-old <laughs> twin grandsons to flip people off they use their index finger but intention is understood and then they holler and laugh oh my god that is hilarious i would holler and laugh too actually to be fair but yes, I've done flips off of them. You know, you do like a like a back somersault or whatever off the swing and somehow don't no, die. I couldn't do that. No, I, I, I couldn't do that. But I did used to, you know, that thing on the side, I guess the monkey bars. Yeah. I could do all kinds of tricks on those. All kind, I did like tricks hang, off, the, yeah. off the single bar. Didn't we? We talked about this before. Where I would do, they called it the cherry drop, death drop, and death circle. I did all three of those. The, we didn't name ours. I don't oh. know what we did, but yeah, the single bar. Yes. Heck yeah. Uh, yeah. All those things. Did you, you, could, have, did you guys hang upside rule? down. Did you guys have the mm -hmm. rule where if somebody was on the swing, you could stand in front of them and count and you start counting on them. And, uh, and then when you get to a certain number or whatever, they have to get off the swing. And then you, if you were on the swing and someone started to count on you, you would say, ABC, don't count on me for the whole recess. <laughs> and if you do, I'll take my shoe and beat you black and blue. That's true. <laughs> no, but I'll probably be singing it all night. <laughs> oh, my God. I can't believe I still remember that. Tell me anybody has the same memory. Anybody? Just me? Just me and the people. David Johnson. Schooling. Yeah. ABC, don't count on me for the whole recess. If you do, I'll take my shoe. And then they and then the kids would have to stop counting on you because you sang the ABC song. So they'd have to stop counting on you and go next door and start counting on them <laughs> to get them off the swing. <laughs> no, we didn't play that. We just had a we had a lot of swings. So we played boy, this was a stupid game. Let's see how close you could stand before you get kicked. That was a, that was a, 
<laughs> well, you stand there, and I'm gonna I'm gonna jump out over you. <laughs> Jesus. Yeah. Yeah. No, if, if you were swinging and someone wanted your swing, they would come in front of you and they'd wag, wag their finger at you. I don't know what they counted to. I have no idea. But you, they do it for a few minutes and then they go, okay, time's up. And then you have to get off the swing because they counted on you. And then that's why we had the anti count on song. So you were safe for the whole <laughs> reset, too. You were safe for the whole Wait. reset. Uh, wow. Yeah. You had, yeah, right. No count on me for the whole reset. I did it when they were like, you want to play football? No, I don't. <laughs> but I guess I'm gonna because everybody I'm else playing. is. <laughs> we did we did all the things. Red Rover. We did um, dodgeball. Te oh, a tetherball. I was huge at tetherball. I was so good at that. I played. I mean, in my brain, in my dreams, I was good at it. I don't remember if I was actually good at it, but I played it a lot. Joey. Never really? heard of it. No one's heard of that song. I mm -mm. can't believe it. Well, I can tell where you didn't go to school then. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone in my school knew it. Our tetherball, and I think it's still up there, our tetherball pole didn't have a ball. Oh, and I man. think it's still there, ballless. I think it's just oh, staying no. in there. That's terrible. Yeah, no balls. Yep, we played red light, green light. Yep, Mother May I played that too. I loved Mother May I. I don't know why, but I did. And yeah. I loved in the classroom, thumbs up, seven up. Yep. Yep. Thumbs up, seven up. You played that too. Yep. Good times. I miss being a kid. Now, when I, when I stood up off this stupid chair that they made out there that spins, my knees went crack. <laughs> I'm like, oh, dear. <laughs> they said, hey, remember us? Yeah. <laughs> You're going to be thinking about us for a few days now. <laughs> yeah, yes, you are. <laughs> yes, Duck, Duck, Goose. We played that too. Yeah. Yes, ZZ. Duck, Duck, I, when we had to make our own, I mean, mud pies and just turn the sprinklers oh. on and just run through the sprinklers. Not at school, obviously, but yeah. We had we would run in the sprinklers. Crazy. Fun times, man. Fun times. Man, we barely we got to... Yeah. But we didn't have parks. we didn't have parks like kids have today. Kids today have like they have like magic parks. These parks are like I mean, Disneyland I mean, anymore. Absolutely. Our parks were dangerous and metal and very like burn inducing. They were terrible. Hey, Rose, but let let me tell you right now, if you got on the merry go round at our park, you was risking your life. Because Absolutely. there was going to be some douchewad that came up and could uh -huh. spin like he was flying like Superman. Yes, yes. And, then and you're you literally flying. holding on for your life. Holding on for absolute life. Yes, yes, <laughs> absolutely. Yes. Red Rover, is that still acceptable anymore? I have no idea. Is there is Red Rover a bad? Well, other than it, you know, could hurt somebody. That's probably because people would straight clothesline you at Red Rover. Yes, right I didn't like, that's why I didn't like it because I was short. Yeah. And they would oh, do that on. shit on purpose for sure. Mm -hmm. They'd throw yeah. their arm right, right at your neck and be like, <coughs> okay, <Yeah. laughs> I guess I lost. Give a walk back. <laughs> I'd break through swinging. Bam, 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 bam. <laughs> I'm up yes. in Mouse Nichols. Good to see you. Gen, Gen X, X metal, metal slide. slide. Yes. Strong. I love that. Yes. Metal slide strong right over here. Not allowed to play dodgeball. Yep. They got rid of dodgeball too. Whatever. Because you know Dangerous. why? That no, no, you know that we used to play with that ball and it would go bam when it <laughs> Yes, I know. It was great. <laughs> you let a little air out of it so you can get a good grip. <laughs> Smack someone straight upside the head. It's great. Have a ball you print played. on your forehead. That was the we played with a big ass ball too. So it would not only just hit you, it would knock you sideways. Like you you went yeah, flying you with that ball. What sucks is you would be already get hit with the ball and be out, and then you're walking, <laughs> walking to the <laughs> bench. More hits. Yep, I know. Yeah. <laughs> more assholes just had to hit you too. Yeah, yeah, we love like, dodgeball. Dang. We also played handball on the on the courts. We played handball, and um, what was it? It wasn't called handball though. It was something when you played with one hand, it was handball, but when you played with two hands. 
what was it called? Was it called something different? I don't know. Hey, Davida, it's so good to see you. Hey, Davida. Nobody ever wanted to play handball. We had, it wasn't four square, it wasn't racquetball. Maybe it was just handball. Yeah. But we played with a big, um, and it would, you know, badunk a dunk, badunk a dunk. <laughs> like it would play, like, you know, and you'd hit the, hit the ground, then the thing, then back to you, I then the ground, then the thing, and the back to you. There was like whole, there was um, wall ball. No, I don't think, nope, not to hudge ball. Keep guessing, people. Racquetball was with a racket. We played that with a racket. I don't know what pickleball is, but I want to look into it because sounds fun. It, it sounds fun. Yeah. Yeah. But see, we ne I never got to do that because I live in a small town, DEK. And if you opened up a fire hydrant, Miss Jones, may the Lord rest her soul or wherever she went, she would tattle tit. So you couldn't do anything. If you accidentally kicked your ball over in her yard, she can't bit. <laughs> she had big, long, mean. red fingernails. What? No hard feelings. That's not cool. She was mean. She would call that the cops mean. on us for playing kickball in the street when, like, it was a dead end road. Nobody was coming down there. Well, I think that's ridiculous. Oh. So OJ died. I know. How are you dealing with that? It's been hard. It, I'm serious. It's funny Good that luck. it's funny that it's been... stop it. Nancy Grace did a uh, uh, a little report on him, and she said uh, OJ's dead en route to hell. And uh, oh, my friends that. over here going, "Oh my God! Oh my God! I hope he made peace with the Lord." <laughs> No, he didn't. He's burning hey, in hell right now. He may Shameful. have. I, I watched Cato Caitlin today do an interview, which he makes me sick. He is now sitting there acting he like makes, he is he so. He makes you sick, but OJ doesn't. Why? You know OJ makes me sick. I just wanted him on my panel where I could slip him up and get him to confess. Because okay. I think I could do it. I Yes, I'm sad you missed your chance. Yes. And now... If he hadn't have ignored, like I did, no, get going and embrace. Yeah, uh, he's confessing, but it, you know, it's yeah, to somebody that matters. <laughs> yeah, it does. Um, the thing, uh, somebody because now you know, now these know, videos are coming out now, where apparently he did this whole confession in the book, and I know, I know, we've talked about the book before, mm -hmm. where he did that. If I did it, here's how it it happened. Yeah. Um. He like actually did an interview, I guess, with some lady where he goes into ridiculous detail. Mm -hmm. I and saw the that. Only, the only way he would have that detail, obviously, is because he did it. Right. Talking about how much blood he's never seen so much blood and blah, 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 all this stuff. And I thought, Brantley. this fucker. Because, and he could, he could legally do all of that because they're double jeopardy. They couldn't retry mm -hmm. him. Annie had so already could, been found guilty for civil wrongful death. Yeah. 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 But there was no way for him to face any more legal consequences. So he came out and said exactly what he did mm -hmm. and, and got to just prance around. Like he was totally okay. Like I don't, he deserved every bit of that hell. Goodbye, sir. Goodbye. Rosebud me too. And I've read that. I don't know if it's true. All his family members had to sign an NDA at his bedside. Like, what's he going to do? Sue him from hell? Yeah, right. I'll be signing that. Daffy Duck. Thank you. Yes. <laughs> well, there's my signature, Dad. What are you going to do? Fucking loser. Good That's what Good Caitlyn Jenner put that on her Twitter. And then I guess she had a wreck that killed somebody. I didn't know that. There was people talking about it today. And I you remember missed, that. I yeah, that was years ago. But that was a that was an accident though, wasn't it? It was not a yeah, and it was more than he. Oh, I'm sorry. She said on Twitter that it was a multi car accident, so it wasn't just Caitlin and whoever. It yeah. was multi car, but I don't know yeah, enough about it. Name every, that's the only name everybody's going to remember, sadly. Right when yeah, she began, that was right when he was transitioning. Yes, yes, I do remember that. Yes. Daddy I did up. not 
I did not see JLR on Court TV. But to be fair, I don't know if I, even if I saw JLR, I would recognize him. I don't think I know who that is. I've heard I, the name, but I don't know who that is. He's a little fella. Just a little fella. I don't know much about him at all. Like you. I know he sued a bunch of people, and that's why you know never hear me say his name. He loves to yeah. sue. I just don't. Yeah, I don't follow. We're not big true crime. I mean, we are some. We do some true crime stuff, but we're not part of that. Yeah, community. You're not getting my new flip flops, sir. So you just go right on back to your corner. <laughs> he must be very proud of himself being on court TV. I don't know that, if he is. I, would love to I don't know anything about him. To be to be fair, I really don't. Na know him. I would. I could be Nancy Grace. I'm telling you right now, <laughs> I could be. But she. I don't know that I could really say, you know, on their way to hell. But she was right there. Well, I don't know if she was or not, to be honest with you. I started to say she was right there during the OJ case, but I don't think she was. I, don't, I didn't watch her show back then. No, I didn't. I remember everything about the OJ case. It was very, I think I've told this story before. The The Bronco chase was at, was the wow. same night as my rehearsal dinner. We were getting married the next day. And throughout the dinner, people kept leaving uh, the table to go to the bar to watch the chase. <laughs> I would get up and look around the table and nobody would be there. And I'm like, where is everybody? They're all at the bar watching the chase. <laughs> oh, this is my rehearsal dinner, people. I'm getting married tomorrow. Y'all are not going to know what to do. You're not going to know what to do. <laughs> OJ, ruining plans since. Ruining my plans, OJ. And then when we were leaving for our honeymoon, because we didn't, we didn't honeymoon directly after the wedding. We honeymooned. I don't know, whenever the arraignment was because he in the airport on our way to our honeymoon is when he said that I am 100% not guilty. He stood up and said that with his whole chest. We were at the airport and saw that. It was crazy. Just so, so many like things. Yeah. That I remember and, and, of just the time of the year that it was. And people still get into it because I was on the phone with Charlie yesterday and she said, <laughs> you must return it. Um, Yes, those ugly ass shoes that he swore he never wore. Remember those? Yeah, and then now they, they wear those ugly ass shoes. And then they today got they were him. they were showing him not fitting the glove, and everybody knows that his lawyers told him don't take your arthritis medicine for several days before you had to try to put the glove on. And then he had gloves on under where he was trying his best to get the glove on, and then it it panned over to him doing an interview. A couple of years before that, wearing those gloves. <laughs> I'm yeah. Just like, yeah. Yeah. They had him in those shoes, too. They saw him in those shoes, too. It was crazy, man. Yeah. He, I mean, he did it. But me, me and Charlie, you know, you Charlie, could, that's like. If you, if you wanted to, though, Randy, you could not put a glove on. I mean, that's how. I, absolutely. Yeah. This idea not the world. You just pretend, the only you know, glove. pretend you're struggling with it. Oh, oh, it's not fitting. Sorry, guys. It's not fitting. Uh-huh. Sure. Leather right. shrinks when it gets wet. I know. That was the dumbest idea. Why make him put it on? That was so stupid. Well, that dumbest. was their out. That was their out. Yeah, he had his fingers. But there was, I mean, when they said not guilty, and, and a lot of people think that his not guilty came from the Rodney King. They were just coming off the oh, Rodney sure. King. Yep. A lot of people felt that so, way. Yes, they didn't mm -hmm. have any trust in the LAPD. Um, because of all the, you know, stuff that had gone down with them. It was also uh, very racially divided in that area at the time. It, yeah. There was just so much. It was like the perfect storm, unfortunately. It was, yeah. and, and, and and just a matter of, they just botched it. They botched so much of it. Hey, Courtney. They did. Hey, and, and so, and you know me, I started re-watching the American, tra I think it's American Tragedy, the O.J. Simpson thing, and Cuba Gooding Jr. played. That is that was an all star cast. I, yeah, I do remember that. I remember that show. I've watched. I think I've seen that. Yeah, um, look at me. Something out, I've actually seen. Amazing. <laughs> I love it. Out yes, comes John DNA. Travolta. Yes, John Travolta. That's right. I remember that. Yes, DNA like was this. so new. They didn't know what to do with DNA. The poor jurors mm -hmm. were like, I don't know anything about blood types, and they're like. It's DNA. That's totally different than blood type. Like, there's they didn't get it. They didn't understand it. DNA um, stuff was so new, and the jurors just didn't 
seem to get the high tech, you know, stuff that was being told to them. I remember everything about that trial. Crazy, man. So that happened this week, let's say, or last week. Um, our favorite gal that we like to ghost and not speak of has been spoken of because she's yes. doing the most again. Yeah, she's being extra vile. She's so fucking yeah. gross. Yep, Mark Thurman. Yeah. And here's Thurman. what. I'm going to say your name, Brenda. She wants the, oh, I have that channel, Vicky. She she puts out all this and tags me. I'm tagged over and over, and I'm sure you are too. Mm -hmm. She tags, I'm guessing, Shannon and Ziggy and not everybody. She and tags then, everybody she can think of, whether yeah, you're used involved to be. in it or not. doesn't matter. You don't, you don't even have to know what she's talking about. She's got you tagged. Right. That's, that's so true. Yeah, and I'm tagged, and I'm tagged, and she's like, "Payback St. Jude," and I'm like, ignoring her for like two years now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and yeah, we've it's been ignoring still... her. But how long are we supposed to ignore her? Like right. we're being called murderers, we're being called, mm -hmm. you know, of course, scammers, liars, bullies, all the things that we're always called. Um, yes. I. I and we and then and using Kit Kat the way she does and little B who didn't, little B who didn't even know her or give a fuck about her she's mm -hmm. using her all of this stuff that that we don't do we don't do this shit to her no nope. we just get accused of doing it but we don't do it right what I can tell you stupid is we have never after Mary passed away and mostly before. We've never spoken about her and won't. But you can't yeah, let people rest in peace. We don't. I'm, there I'm was a... for a while there, people were um, mad at me because I didn't immediately take down all my videos. Uh, mm. Because uh, I'm sorry, the truth is, Mary told lies about me. Sorry, she did. Uh, she told she lies, lies about, about me. me too. And the, my videos were my defense and my proof that those were lies. And her videos weren't going to come down, so why should mine? But eventually I took them down. Um, but that's what I feel like, like in an effort toward goodwill. Like, you know, fine, I'll take mine down. Fine, whatever. Mm -hmm. We don't get any credit for that, which is fine. Like, I don't care. Like, don't you don't have to give me any credit for it. But I'm just saying, we don't we don't get credit for that. Instead, we get it ba done back to us. The most horrible, disgusting things keep being said about us. We don't say anything back mm -hmm. because if we do, then we're, you know, all of the things. How much of that are we supposed to take before someone just snaps? And, and well, and people are, people are snapping and they're going to say shit. And yes. I don't know. You have your only yourself to blame for it, Corey. Right. Corey, when, when people start, and if y'all are wondering who we talk about, who we're talking about. I'm just going to go right on ahead and I'm going to do you a favor, Corey. Maybe, maybe get you some subscribers. How about we no, do that? Don't, don't do that. I, I don't, don't want to give her any, I don't, well, I don't, I'm not interested in getting her any more subscribers. She doesn't need any more people watching her as far as I'm concerned, but mm, I would love to. for people just to see that they, well, I, well I, I did share one of her community posts because it, no, that's not true. I shared two. One, she erased. Why'd you erase it, Corey? Yeah, she's a coward. Shannon did a whole live stream. And she did get herself yeeted from YouTube. But she's got a I bunch of other channels yeah. uh, that uh, will eventually get yeeted as well. But mm. every time we share her, she gets, you know, 50 to 100 more subscribers. And I'm just, I'm not interested in building that channel for her. Fuck her. Well, I mean, um, what people need to know is when... And I never mentioned this. I didn't mention this to you. I didn't mention this to anybody. She tagged me in a video um, when, and this hadn't been that long ago. Um, saying, um, you know, laughing about my suicide attempt and, ah, yes. you know, yes. and um, then the other day, she, of course, she put in a community post, Randy, go join your mom. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. She's saying that about Shannon, too. And then mm -hmm. Shannon did a stream. And because all this time, Corey, Corey's been whining and crying that she wants to get Shannon on a panel. Well, Shannon uh, did a whole stream, dropped the link for a good hour or so. And uh, guess who never showed up? 
chicken shit Corey. But was watching Corey's, the whole time. Who was watching because... the whole time because she was putting out shit out on her community post, responding. Mm -hmm. But why not come take the link? You said you wanted a link. You said you wanted to talk to Shannon. Never happened. Disgusting. Yeah, you've been around forever, Strange Cheese. I don't know. I don't watch her. I unsubbed. Cannot care. I did hear that she thinks Lark and Jolie are the same person. And for sure, they're not. That's all I'm going to say about her. But no, well, you're not and, a troll. And String Cheese, please, please know, String Cheese, that BBT's word means literally nothing to us we're gonna need mm -hmm. to see way more than than proof you know way more than her word uh by way of proof before we believe anything that she says uh just so you know her word doesn't no, mean we know that spring she's, she's, she's know lied that. on us way too many times for her word to mean anything to me sorry yeah that garbly goop i'm done i'm i'm i'm, I'm, I'm done <laughs> and i'm glad too because i don't watch her ever uh, mm -hmm. unless, unless, you know, you ask me to, or you tell me that I need to see something or whatever. I don't yeah. watch her ever. And, um, I've been wanting you to not watch her for a while now. So I love that you're done. Be, be done. I'm I think done. that we have more than proven, uh, what a liar she is. And, uh, I think her, her own friends are leaving her because they now see it themselves. We don't have to, uh, do anything. We don't have to say anything. People no. see her eventually. They see her for exactly who she is eventually. So uh, we don't have to do anything or even say a word. And I, I'd love to never speak of her again. That'd be great. It yeah, of is. course. Everybody's a troll. Yeah, of course. Yeah. Everybody's a troll and everybody's after her. And she saw them and they blah, blah. And they blah, blah. You know. You know, the, I, yeah, she never proves anything. And the stuff that she does prove. I'm sorry. This last turn. This last go round with her. Where she spliced together me talking about text messages regarding the guitar and text messages regarding her daughter. When she spliced those two things together to try to make me look like a liar or that I was contradicting myself. That was that was it. Like, mm -hmm. I'm done. You've done that to me too many times. First of all, I know you've done it to other people as well. I just got another cash app. Thank you so much. Thank you. That Yay. is so sweet of you. Um, uh, yeah, she's fun. done that to us more than once she's done that to us way too many times um thank you honey let me give you a heart back thank you that was very sweet of you um charlie and, and i'm just not i'm i'm not willing to believe anything that she says hey charlie i'm so happy you're back though at work i bet you're so happy i bet you're having a good time it now it sucks because now it's loud when we're on the phone well but she's happy so it's good <laughs> sorry sorry this is not good for you but it's good for her <laughs> she's happy she's been wanting to go back to work for a minute now so i'm happy for her i'm happy for her don't get me wrong it's just i'm just a little selfish i'm like can you hear me <laughs> and she's like I what hold on a minute <laughs> I think she is a snake too. I think she's absolutely a snake. I think she's a tinfoil hat wearer for sure. I and I think she lies a lot. She's lied about me many times. So I, I'm happy to never even address her ever again. I'm sure because we said this, it'll be a whole fucking stream. But don't wow. care. Won't, won't be watching. Warrior Grandma just now got the notification. I'm sitting here. I'm telling you, I sat here with less than a hundred and. Um, of course, you know, my emails was blowing up like, yeah, I love to see you sink. I love watching your views go down. <laughs> Come on. Yeah, hmm. stupid. No, uh, I think everybody's notifications were being wacky for a, like a good few four days there because um, I would get messages or not messages. I'm sorry. I would get notifications that someone uploaded a video. And then I find out that it's a whole ass, you know, three hour live stream that I missed. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I missed um, a lot. So it would, it, it happened all the time for like a week there. Oh, I know, Nadine. Week. I know. And we could go, honestly, we could go on and on and on. But if people don't, they're, they get bored of it. I never well, got because, one. I'm just, because, just saw you were live. 
Because we know, we, and, and we've proven it way too many times what a liar she is. I mean, people mm -hmm. know, people know, even her own friends are realizing what a liar she is. That's why they're leaving her. And that's why she's, you know, coming out and saying shit about them because you can't just leave. You can't just leave somebody. The smear campaign always follows. It's ridiculous. <gasps> Devita, first of all, we got to talk about this. What are you talking about? You know, the Brown family, will they come on panel? I would love that. Love Denise. Love her. Um, and just my like for OJ was just that I wanted him on panel, but I love the Brown family. But I, what I love more than any of them is Cher. So I'm so happy for you. And if she ever comes back, I told Jim, he stopped me last time. I won't be stopped this time. Hey, K KB Bells. He will not foil your plans again. He won't. She rode a freaking elephant in that concert. <laughs> Thank you, Debbie. Yeah, and it, I mean, it was like less than 100 miles away. I won't be stuck. I won't. Yeah. I mean, I I'll be in jail because I want to hug her and just tell her I just want to be you. <laughs> I'm sure that'll be fine. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I think it'll go over well. It'll be, I think it'll go over well. Being, yeah. I, who, who'd complain about that? I mean, it's very nice. It's very thoughtful. Sweet. Yeah. Yeah. For sure. <laughs> not at all crazy. The ticket prices are right. I may not be going. Okay. I'll be. Yeah, well, uh, yeah. The ticket <laughs> prices are like the, the your mortgage payment. I mean, so, you know, it's all right. <laughs> Whoa. I didn't know that. Remember, but when you go to a concert for 50 and uh, that was high, 50, if you paid $50 for a concert ticket, that was high. Girl, I remember the days when we would go to concerts and you had to go physically to a, a, a Macy's or a wherever it was to get your ticket. You had to go to like a Ticketmaster outlet somewhere or some kiosk somewhere and yeah. wait in line <laughs> yes. like, a, like a cave person. Wait in line. It's like the days before internet was a thing. Uh, and then, you know, praying that you actually get any kind of a seat. Um, yeah, we did all that in our 20s. That was our 20s. That was fun. Good times. Oh, I know. It, it was, I wanted to do it in high school to say poison. And um, <laughs> you that. had to, uh, you, you people uh, was camping. They were camping. And my nanny wouldn't let me. I'm like, I'm not going to be alive. Yes. There's going to be hundreds of people my, in line. Yeah, my, mom, my mom would put the kibosh on that too all the yeah. time. I would be like, come on, come on. And so, it, you know, Scott and his friends, because they could, were allowed to do that kind of stuff, they would have to go get the stuff. And then, you know, then maybe I would be allowed to go. But a lot of times I wasn't allowed to go because I was, you know, rules, blah, blah, blah. Oh, I think I, you know, that one I got snitched on and didn't get to go once Nanny found out, you know, that they may or may not be smoking pot right there inside the arena. <laughs> yep. That was another thing. Yes. You could get a contact high just because there's people in front of you completely mm -hmm. smoking. Yep. I remember. And we would go get our little outfits for what we were going to wear to the concert, you know, like you and your girls would go out and get, yes. you know, go stop in and do your little, get your little outfits, get your little fits together. Yeah, I'm serious, needing so art. I'm so serious. Listen, I dressed like Madonna to go see new. I'm so embarrassed. I don't know why I started this sentence. <laughs> Lori D, that's what I'm talking about. Yes, we would stand in line for hours at Ticketmaster. Yes. And every once in a while, there would be somebody that would come up with like a hidden Ticketmaster that nobody knew about. So you'd get like these great spot in line. And then eventually everybody found out about it. Oh wow, Imer, that sucks. That sucks. I I remember when so when I went to see New Kids on the Block, I had the Madonna skirt with all the lace that made the skirt Whoa, stick out. Nice, <laughs> nice. Yep, my aunt took me to the mall, and <laughs> that's what I got. I love and it. fishnets. Yeah. I had a the probably, coolest thing that I ever got was this white and my girl, my girlfriend and I, um, she got the same jacket, you know, cause we had to coordinate and we had, it was this, it was this white, it was a white jacket, but it was instead of like, it had holes. It was all holes, just like almost like a net, like a net material, but it wasn't like mm -hmm. itchy, like a net, but it was, you know, 
like a net, basically. It was very cute. Very cute. We looked very stylish. Yes, that was for Def Leppard, I believe. <laughs> it was great. It was a great Hi, Bashful. Oh, I would have loved. I love Ozzy. I love their whole family. Oh. They were passing out acid while you waited to get in. Oh, my gosh. I would be scared to death. I wouldn't. I, mm -mm, nope. Yeah, don't go in the bathroom. Don't go in the bathroom because God only knows what you find in there. Crazy, man. I was only taking my 10-year-old daughter, but right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, See, that Elvis. <gasps> Lori. Wow. Lori. Elvis concert. That is amazing. That's what, you know, yeah, everybody knows that Jim's older than me. And I'm like, Jim, I cannot believe. Because, I, listen, if Elvis was alive today, you bet your bottom dollar that I would be hanging off <laughs> the gates at Graceland. Okay? <laughs> you guarantee you it. say things like that. Because it doesn't sound at all nuts or crazy or weird. Or <laughs> <laughs> it's just me. Arranged. <laughs> and I'm like, I can't believe that you got, you were grown and could do whatever you wanted and Elvis was in concert, and you just thought, nah. nah. He's like, you don't, you don't understand. He wasn't that popular. He died down. What? It died down. Yeah, oh, Jim it said died that down in the later mm -hmm. years or something. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. I'm like, I loved Fat Elvis. I don't care what size he is. <laughs> and but he really wasn't that big. You know, I mean, no, he was, was just big, probably compared to what he when he wasn't big. Used I to guess. be. Yeah. yeah. Your mother made out with Elvis? Oh, my God. Don't tell Randy that. <laughs> She's got I'm Elvis so... DNA. <laughs> Do you know that all we need is a healthy ovum and we can grow an Elvis? <laughs> right. We're going to need her to spit on a napkin and mail it to us ASAP. <laughs> Pronto. He really right was. Now. Yeah, that's what, what Jim said. And I'm like, I'm like I don't care. I would have just went to see Elvis because it was Elvis. And. And he's like, well, if I knew he was going to die, you know. <laughs> <laughs> logic. I love logic. Yeah. That is funny, Brantley. I love that. My grandma cried for he days. Yeah, my grandmother loved that. That's not. Oh, he's so, oh my gosh. So pretty. What a, what a fine. God was showing out when he made Elvis. <laughs> God's all, look what I can do. Yep. <laughs> look what I can make. Like he this was favored in it. Not only am I going to make this man beautiful, I'm going to give him a great voice. Uh -huh. He's going to be so talented. Mm -hmm. He's going to love it. To me, really? I, 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 so he died in 77. So I was, yeah, I was only like, yeah, I was not old enough to know who he was. I was too. I wonder what my, I should ask my mom, like what she thought, because she was old enough to know, obviously I was born. The the weird thing is I can remember my aunt running through the door saying, I got it. I got it. And it was the inquirer that had Elvis's casket picture on the front. Wow. Mm -hmm. I don't know why I, I remember that. These days. I wonder if that's worth anything these days. Like, you know, like old pictures and stuff like that. I don't know how to call well, her live and say, hey. internet was a thing too. That's all before internet. You were 15. See, Rosebud, I'm gonna be your I'm gonna be your friend. I hate to get weird. I'm sorry. <laughs> Call me. Call me, Rosebud. Be my <laughs> friend. I just I think that's so neat. I, um, Elvis. And they're still making the movies. I you know, I never finished the Elvis movie. I don't know why I just couldn't get into it. Yeah, I've never seen one of them ever. And the oh, Elvis and Me is a good movie, but then they made Priscilla, which I bought. And I bought it was expensive because it had just first came out, and it sucks. If you've seen Elvis and Me, you've seen Priscilla, and the girl in Elvis and Me looks just like Priscilla. Wow, well, that's good. Mm -hmm. and you I was, have I, Rosebud has it. Knitting artisan, I'll tell you in private. I don't like giving out things like that because uh, for doxing reasons. So I don't say because people know I know because the last is. time that she sent me a picture of her tatas, it had her birthday on it. 
people know my birthday. And so if I start giving out my birth year, that narrows it down quite a bit. It does, actually. It does. So I just don't, I don't usually talk about it. Oh, but she has matter. a, Grandma Warrior has an Elvis stamp unused. Oh, wow. That's Lisa Marie. God bless her. We were, I have pictures where we were at Graceland. Um, I would love to go back because when I went, I was getting treatments on my ears. And then... Is it like, still I, like a, a popular place? Like, do people mm -hmm. still care about it? Yes. Because we're kind of in the generations now where people... Like, I don't even know if my kids even would know who he is. That's, in my opinion, I think that's why um, Priscilla pushes... You know, lets the movies be made and helps the movies be made and promotes right, the movies to keep them alive. Yeah, to keep mm -hmm. his memory alive and stuff. Because yeah, because like my kids, I mean, they might. I'm sure they probably have heard of him, but I don't know that they, you know, even would care to know anything about him. Like you know, because he's okay, as the right. generations. Well, as the generations go on, people have less and less uh, experience with him. Oh yeah, the this last movie really ramped it up because if Oh Rosebud, don't say that girl. Bless your heart. Look at Rosebud talking about she can meet you at Listen, Graceland. Here we I go. Can get to, I can get to <laughs> Memphis without getting on an interstate. So <laughs> you just have to meet me where right there when you hit Memphis. Here we go. You turn right. This is this is the way I know. You take a right and there's like a sit go. There I'll be parked. <laughs> Good luck, Rosebud. <laughs> I and I like have to it. get on the interstate to get to get to that sit go. So that means hurry. I mean, but, sure. <laughs> <laughs> but the thing was when we went, I had the ear treatments, they put a hole in your ear and they put steroids down, all this stuff. And it sounds painful. You do? Oh, Rosebud knows where that's at. Um, but it wasn't painful. It was just time consuming. What yeah. was painful was when we got to, <laughs> we got to, we didn't know anything about Graceland. So we got there and you had to wear headphones. Yeah. That was painful. Yeah. Yeah. So I don't, You're right. I, I was like in a haze right. going through it, but everything yeah. I'll just, I'm going to warn you ahead of time, Rose, but everything they tell you don't touch. I touched. <laughs> and if Jim would have acted like he was, he, supposed, he was supposed to act like he was passing out so I could take a run for upstairs to see Elvis's room. But do you know Jim wouldn't do it? <laughs> Chicken shit. <laughs> like, I've had enough of your shenanigans, lady. He's like, I've never seen this woman before in my life. <laughs> He said, you would be in jail in Memphis. He goes, I don't know who this woman is. Just some crazy yeah. lady. <laughs> I've never seen her before ever. <laughs> Talk about Hi, she's Hi, Susan. Yay. <laughs> Randy, always pushing that envelope. Well, you touch the couch and you're like, Elvis sat here. That's what That's what I was thinking. Elvis was here. <laughs> I know. Poor Jim. Because let me tell you, if I moved into Graceland, I would keep all the... That the way it's decorated, I love that. <laughs> I missed two buses back to the starting point because I wouldn't leave. Just kept wandering around forever. Oh, that's funny. I, I know, Amy. I wanted to look so bad inside Elvis's Bronco to see uh, Elvis's Bronco. I'm OJ's so sorry, Bronco. Elvis. <laughs> OJ's Bronco because. It looked so new on the outside. I just wondered what the inside looked looked like. Vicky, <laughs> much love back to you, Debbie doll. Thank you. Look at no Vicky. touching. Yeah, yeah that's, that's right. right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and Jim's every time. Jim's like, stop, stop it. <laughs> Would you quit? I mean, all the way through. <laughs> I'm like, you getting to hear what they're saying, and I'm not because my ear, tink, touch. <laughs> Pink. <laughs> well, she walks by everything. 
Yeah. <laughs> Randy, I see that vase in your pocket. Go put it back. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all, this whole thing, I found it outside. Stop. <laughs> yeah. What? It fell. It fell in my lap, in my purse. <laughs> mm-hmm. See, it's got my name on it. I'll write it when we get it home. <laughs> oh, my God. I, yes, Lori D. I love it. I, and then the other side, they have, like, some of the cars that, um, well, well, maybe just one car. I don't remember. It's been a long time. The cars that... uh. Elvis and Priscilla drove and her wedding dress. Where, where, right, where is Olivia? She probably didn't well, get a notification. So, so who runs, I'm sorry for being so ignorant on this, but who runs Graceland? Is it Priscilla and her, mm-hmm. her company or whatever? So, so that's all her stuff then too. Yeah. Or no. Well, it gets a little sticky here because her and Lisa Marie owned it and Lisa Marie left it to her daughter. And okay. at first, Lisa, uh, first her daughter is Riley Kilo, I think is her name, Kilo. Okay. Um, and Priscilla, they weren't agreeing on stuff and she owns more shares than Priscilla. Okay. And, um, so, but the last interview that I saw of Priscilla, she's like, everything's fine. We've worked it out. We've got it, you know, because yeah. I mean, she was grieving. She lost her grandson. Right. And then she lost her daughter. So, yeah. Oh, Riley is the sole owner. I started, I thought that. But so Riley wasn't is sure. the sole owner now mm. of Grayson. And so, and she's keeping mm. it going. She's keeping it because I don't know. It's still going. It, I would find it. I don't know how, obviously, and I have no way to even a little bit relate. Um, but it would, I would find it so hard to see strangers coming in and looking at my house. Like to me, this was my home. And you're just, that, you know. That's why they kept the upstairs. Oh. Yeah. So the upstairs yeah. is blocked off. You can't go up there. No, you can't go up there. And, you know, everybody thinks it's because that's where Elvis died. But that's actually where some of the family sometimes used to stay when they went. Oh, mm-hmm. wow. That would be, it was never Riley. OK, yeah, because. Right. I wasn't thinking of Riley. I was thinking of like Priscilla or Lisa. Like, did they ever live yeah. in that house? Was that their yeah. house? Yes. Yeah. But you got to remember, Elvis was engaged when he died and that woman just gets thrown to the side like she don't matter yeah um she wrote a book i i bought the book but i haven't read it yeah that is where his ghost hangs that that word on the street but i don't know oh and there's business offices up there yeah i would imagine right running the running the, the place yeah and now that's what um, Priscilla was fighting for was to be buried there. But say she's got a son that's not going to be buried there. I, I don't know what I would do. That would be so hard. Yeah. Ginger, I, Ginger Allman, Aldman or something like that. Yes, Shamat. Why can't her son be buried there? No relation. But he's related to her. I don't know. Who's uh, Who has to say? Alden, thank I you. I have no idea. Yeah, I didn't know he was engaged either. Beautiful ring. People didn't believe her, so she put it out on the table to show people. Um, yeah, she was hit. Yeah, them darn, that daggum security, they're tight too. <laughs> <laughs> they have one job, keep the crazies out. And luckily, the crazies identify themselves. <laughs> pretty quickly <laughs> you can yeah. pretty much spot them you see a woman shushing her husband she's about to run <laughs> she's touching every damn thing Mm-hmm. Oh, so funny. she thinks she's a rule breaker everybody touches it ma'am that is true 
She's only a Presley by marriage. I don't think she belongs at Graceland. Mm, I don't know how I feel about that because you'd have to believe that her and Elvis remained really close after they divorced. And, you know, I don't, according to her, they did. Yeah, I don't know. I I honestly don't know. I, I think I've, I've read Elvis and me too many times. Like I've read that book so many times and I have it on, I have the regular book then I have it on Kindle and I have it on audio. You know what's so funny, Deb, that you're saying that? Because I also have that thought. And I've thought it way more times than I should have, considering I didn't even know Elvis <gasps> or know, or know anything about him. But I have thought that many, many times. Please don't let that happen to me. <laughs> I totally have thought too. that. Yes, me too. I'm laughing because it's crazy that I, I thought I was the only person in the world that would ever think like that. And let, never mind. Here we all are. Yeah, I feel so much better. I can't believe you, me and you've never talked about this because we've had some bathroom conversations. <laughs> <laughs> but what a weird thing. Like, I, I, it's not like I was a big Elvis fan or anything, but d I sure know what to pray for. <laughs> I, I, I sure know what I don't want to happen. She should never have divorced him. Mm. He was cheating. Then she cheated. But, you know, my mind tells me if I was married to Elvis Presley, he could cheat. I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> he probably was not a very easy person to be with, I would imagine. It's hard to no. share your husband with the world. Yeah. You know? And, um, yeah. And, I mean, we got to, let's, let's call it, you know. And everybody feels like they have, well, that, too, everybody feels like they have rights to him. You know what I mean? Because everybody loves yeah. him. So, they all feel like they have rights to him, too. How do you and look, with that? by today's standards, Elvis was a groomer. He groomed her. Oh, because she was really young, and he how old was how old was he? Uh, I think well, I think he was twenty four. She was fourteen. I think that's right. Whoa, mm -hmm. that is young. He yeah, free pass. That yeah. is really young. Wow. Mm -hmm. She was 14. So he definitely was a groomer. And people overlook that because he's Elvis. But right. there's there's no way around it. He, he'd if be you canceled read the book. Today. <laughs> yeah, he'd, he'd get canceled. <laughs> he'd be all kinds of canceled today. No. Wow. Yes, oh, darling, I something. know. Yes, I know. I, I heard I, that. I wish I could share some stuff with y'all, but I don't need that clipped. <laughs> uh, I love I love Jerry Lee Lewis. Loved him. And I know that he done some messed up stuff. Yeah, she was 12. Cousin? 12? Yeah. How do you even find a 12-year-old attractive if you are not broken in some way? Like that's there's nothing attractive about a 12 year old. I'm sorry. I don't care how cute you are. Like there's nothing grown about a 12 year old. Like Jerry Lee Lewis wasn't Elvis's cousin. Do you know whose cousin he is? He's that preacher. What was his oh gosh, what was his name? No, I didn't Billy Graham. Was, I didn't say he was his cousin. I said no, some people in the chat did. Oh, 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 sorry, sorry, sorry. He married oh, Myra Gale. Yeah. I have that book too. Myra Gale Lewis. So he she was 14 when they met, 21 when they got married. Okay. 12 is young. Mm -hmm. Yeah, 12 is very young. I don't even know what you could possibly find attractive in a 12-year-old unless you're already a creep. But but then they make this movie that doesn't make, it just doesn't make him look like a creep. And how at the time you're not thinking, that's not okay. That's not okay. I mean, I know that you but, can do like, you know, with your parents' permission type of thing or whatever, you can, right? But I don't know, yeah. 12, 12 seems a little, I mean, 14 is also very young. 12 is just, you're still, you're a baby. Jimmy Swagger, yes. Child. Jimmy, it's, it was Jimmy Swagger, yes, yes. And he judged the crap out of Jerry Lee Lewis. And then we all remember the scandal with Jimmy Swagger. Oh, yeah, yes, I remember and, that. My nanny bought, I'd say, half of his mansion and Billy Graham's. 
Wow. Every time they were on TV, Nanny would say, give me the phone. Oh, <laughs> One of my kids is 12. I would unalive him. Right? Yes. Yeah. 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 We yeah. got his paws on hers. Cassandra, thank you. That's kind of how I feel. Like 12 years old is, but there's nothing to, remotely grown about a 12 year old. We have to look at the time though. What Bashful said is true. Back then it was not uncommon for a 12 year old to get married. Okay. This isn't like biblical times. Okay. This was just a, a 40, 50 years ago. Mm, let me look. Right. 60 years ago? How long ago was it? I don't even know. Uh, that just, I don't know. 12 just feels like, like, 12 just seems so young. My gosh, I don't know. It's so hard for me not to see that as, as young. Even then, in biblical times, right? Because I think, because don't people say that about like the Mary? She was like 12 or 13. She and was I 13. Okay. So she was 13. And in eighth grade in 1957, when she married her 22 year old cousin, second cousin, yeah, that's right. in the second cousin, second, that's right. it's all a problem. That's all bad. None of those words should go together. That's all wrong. <laughs> all of it. Yeah. I don't like any of that. Even for back then, it's way too young. I mean, right. I don't know how I just said 13, like it was better than 12. <laughs> <laughs> It just gets worse and worse. I know. This is terrible. This is a terrible story. Yeah. The media came down, especially when he went to England. Because the part of the movie, I remember that. He said, England can kiss my ass. But uh, then when he got back to the United States, his popularity went down, way down. Two years older than 10. Right. Right. There is nothing grown up about a 12 year old. I'm sorry. No. Was in no. Uh, in the movie, her suitcase was a dollhouse. I mean, see? Yeah. If your suitcase is a dollhouse, you shouldn't be getting married. That's her parents. That's not they ran terrible. off, though. They did run off and get married. Um, they went to a place where she didn't need permission. And I'm, I think they lied about her age. Yeah. And I know that you could, I, and I don't know when this started, but your parents could, you know, give permission or whatever for you to get married underage or whatever. My mom lied to my dad about her age when they met. She was at a bar and told him she was 18. She was 15. He found out when she got pregnant and got married. Go mom. Well, I mean, but 15, that's not, I don't, night, I don't Charlie. know. Charlie. Night, Charlie. I don't, I, I mean, 15, I feel like is, I don't Better than 12. 15 is still young for sure. And, you know, but I, I have seen, I, I don't know. I feel like that's light years away from 12, which it really isn't. But it is, though. You change a lot I from 12 think, to 15. I, I think. think things were just different back then. I don't know why. They yeah, they must have I think sure. a lot of times, not, and not, not in Myra's situation, but like, say, with Loretta Lynn, another... A, a kid out of the house is one less to feed and they struggled, you know, they just struggled to feed and clothe. And that is, you know, how the dads give away the daughter. That's the true meaning of, you know, as soon as, you know, Steph walks down that aisle, we're, we're going to be like, here, she's yours. <laughs> Vicky. <laughs> Can you imagine getting that permission? Thanks mom and dad. I can't wait to get my driver's license in four <laughs> years. Yeah. Right? Can you, oh, can, can you also? I'm sorry, but Tara. Who would sign? Oh, what'd she say? I got I've been listening to old lives on Randy and Wendy's channels all last week. Just to look. YouTube, so thank you for saying that. Yes, it does suck lately. 15 and 19. I mean, I understand that there's legal whatever's there. I get all that. But 15 and 19, that's not that far apart in my eyes. I don't know what all the laws are regarding that. Like if it's a certain amount, I mean, you're still underage, I suppose. So there still has to be some kind of consent probably from your parents. But 15 and 19 doesn't scare me near as much as, you know, 24 and 12. Yeah. 13. She was 13. Okay, 13. Yeah. I don't know how that's better, but all right. <laughs> I said a little better. I don't know what to say. 
You know, I mean, it happened. Well, thankfully, it's and, not us. And We're not to make those decisions or, that, those, or those choices. I hope everything worked out for the best. I, well, you'll you'll be shocked to hear it actually did not work out. I'm and, shocked. Twelve-year-olds are <laughs> are known for making such good life decisions. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe that. Or didn't any work of out. his other like thirteen marriages. I don't think any of them worked out either. I'm just as shocked <laughs> as you so are. Strange. So weird. <laughs> hey Tara, I'm happy to see you too, Dolly. Oh, me too, Debbie Doll. I love it when it's mostly chill. Yeah, we talked a little bit about Corey, but you know, Corey, you deserve it. Golly, you deserve so much more. No, that's not true. You deserve everything life is handing you. Hundred percent. Mm -hmm. 100% I agree the same like I feel like you know life has judged her mm -hmm. uh, harshly and I think she deserves every bit of it I'm, I have nothing for Corey yeah and uh, it's only because I'm a halfway decent person that I haven't unleashed on her the way that I wish I could One time. yeah yeah, yeah. It, but she's just and, not and, worth it she's yeah fuck a Corey she's just not worth it she's nothing to us she mm -hmm. she takes full credit for all these things that She's she's delusional. She believes that you know people actually care what she thinks. She believes that uh, Savage is bothered by the fact that she uses uh, at Savage Live Media for her handle. <laughs> Savage doesn't give a yeah. shit about you. I, I can't imagine why you think she would. Uh, she's insane. She's insane and delusional, and just needs to go the fuck away. And one day she will, and no one will care. That's just she'll life. she'll have her very own hug jacket and. She yep. can love on herself. That's what I absolutely don't care. I mean, no. read the things that she says and then wonder why somebody wants to crack her with a, was it a, a hockey stick? And I don't blame a her. Hockey stick. I'd yeah. love to do it too. Fuck her. Yeah. Don't care. Don't care. I'm she just, if I'm ever, she was coming to make a monster about her children talking about or her child and talking about, you know, Someone's passing around their pictures, blah, 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 and she wouldn't leave her the fuck alone about it. And because Make a Monster didn't want to hear about it and didn't get, give a shit what she had to say, then she became enemy number one. And that was it. And then Make a Monster said something about, I don't even know, a hockey stick. It was probably a joke. I can't imagine it was serious, but, you know, you know Corey, Corey doesn't understand anything. So she just, you know, took it as something serious, and she wonders why nobody cares. Nobody cares. Nobody and cares. What did, she, what did she I had a can of wine. Or your grandma. Did, can y'all? Do they serve wine in cans? I have no That's idea. That's got to be on the bottom shelf all the way to the back. A can of wine. Yeah, I have, I can't even, I don't even know. Don't care. The, the amount of times I've heard her say, I drank a can of wine. Like, what? Over here, ma'am, they're in bottles. <laughs> she hangs out in the IP2 sector, seen yesterday in Sonic's chat. Yeah, well, I have fun with that. I have fun with her. We don't. I have no idea who IP2 is. Um, yeah. Is this a sector? I mean, we're drama community. Yeah. We're a sector. Drama sector. Yeah. That's some low level drinking. When I think, yeah. You know what I had? Well, everything Can't about lie. her screams low level. So, you know, she's, yeah. she's low level everywhere you look. It exists. <laughs> I think. <laughs> Thank yeah. you, Pink. I mean, I believe yeah, we, that she drank a can of wine. Development in the chat. Thank you, Pink. Appreciate you. <laughs> research <laughs> and development is in the chat, people. We have Box of wine, yes. Listen, we have I have, Kimberly. I am all over it. I have I have looked up the indictment. Mm -hmm. Uh I have I have my whole theory on why she's even doing this to begin Me too. with. Me too. Uh, I'm our yeah, I, I, have, I have a lot I could talk about. And I need to talk to Hell to the No because I know that she was live last night, but I haven't watched it yet. So I don't know if she talked about the case at all. Did she talk about the case at all last night? I don't think so. I I didn't get to listen. I went to bed at 830. Yeah, I had the boys over. So yeah. we were, oh my gosh, we were up laughing and talking. I wonder about our neighbors when we're up because we're loud. It's very fun. But anyway. I'm so glad. Uh, yeah, so I, I didn't watch it, but I need to. I need to find out because I know a lot about what's happening with that trial. I will. I will, Debbie Doll. I know a lot about what's happening in that trial, and I don't know if Hell to the No has shared it, and I don't want to share it if she doesn't want me to share it. But I'm, I'm following 
I'm following all of that. I'm keeping up with all of the, all of the case because I'm not only, you know, I'm, I'm just, I'm fascinated with all of it. It's very precedent setting mm -hmm. here in this community, especially. And well, uh, I've, I've been, yeah, that, and yes, she's also talking about the family foundation school. And yes. I think that Friday night, y'all don't want to miss it. I mean, yeah, we can get into all of it because the this whole this whole theory that she's going to support the victims and tell their stories but she's only willing to tell the stories of the people that liked Jimmy tells me everything that she's only doing this because she thinks she needs to clear Jimmy's name mm -hmm. as if anybody is over here blaming Jimmy for a damn thing the problem that i have though is that I didn't realize that he worked there for 13 years. I thought he only worked there for like oh, a year. He worked same. there for 13 years. Complicent, sir. Complicent. If that is true, then there is no way you didn't see what went down there. There's no you, way. Don't, you're going to get worked up. Save it's it. impossible. Keep it's it impossible. all in for Friday. No I, would, I would, no, no, I don't need to do that. I will be just as worked up on Friday. There's no way. <laughs> There's no way that you didn't see what was going on. And the only reason that Merb wants to talk about any of this now is because she wants to clear his name, which is ridiculous. I, okay. So I disagree with that. Oh, do tell. I think that she wants to talk about it because this guy just got arrested. Well, of um, course she's, that's what she's using. They gave him no bond. And I think that she's what willing to re-victimize victims for views. That's that's how I feel. No, I don't, I think, don't it's, think it's views. I don't I think, think it's I views. Think, she's not going to get views. She's only in, interested in telling the stories of the people that liked Jimmy. That's not uh, views. That's not that's not going to get her any views. It's what it's going to do is open up this whole can of worms and cause people mm -hmm. like me to dig. And bitch, I have been digging. You I have know. dug. I've dug up the indictment. I've read mm -hmm. it all. It's disgusting. This Paul Gear guy is is vile. The stuff he's been accused of, if it's true, he needs to be thrown away under the fucking jail. And the stuff yes. that these people have done to these students uh, is outrageous and inexcusable. And I'm not saying that Jimmy did anything bad to a student. But you cannot tell me that he worked there for 13 years and saw nothing. Right. There's no way that's when, no Out way. of his own mouth, out of his mouth, he said he hated that guy. They had run-ins. He would get taken to the office about their run-ins. What was your run-ins about? Why did you just get taken to the office? Why would you not call the cops? I have, I have, a, I have questions now. Right, right. Because why, why, how didn't many, you, why didn't you report any of this? That's what you're supposed to do. See something, say something. That was big back Absolutely. then. Oh, for sure. Oh, for sure. And those kinds of schools, I used to work, and I don't want to talk about it too much because I just don't, I don't, yeah. there's no reason to, and it'll get all muddied up with this anyway. But I used to work for a school like that. Mm -hmm. I, I was there. Mm -hmm. I was in a situation like that. I've worked with kids like this. Kids that nobody else will take. Nobody else can handle. I've seen mm -hmm. stuff go down with people who are not trained. They don't know what they're doing with these kids. And they get, they step out of bounds. They step out of bounds. And uh, have reported, you know, many, many things. Because you have to. You can't just stand there and look away when someone that you are charged with protecting is being heard. You can't do that. You're a mandated reporter. Exactly. Debbie doll. Mm -hmm. You're a mandated reporter. You absolutely have to. Yes. CPI is annual. We did pro act. Same kind of thing though. Same kind of training. We had uh, all kinds of, you know, as much training as we could possibly get, but even with all the training in the world, nothing can prepare you uh, for some of the shit that you're going to see. And the stuff that you're going to have to deal with. But the stuff that, that is in this indictment, and we can go over it on Friday if you guys want. 
the stuff that is in this indictment is stuff that I've never seen at the school that I was at. Uh, this guy crossing state lines with underage girls supposedly to have, you know, sex with them. Hey, Ziggy. Oh, I hope you feel better, sweetheart. Love you. Uh, supposedly to have sex with them. Mm -hmm. uh, disgusting. Absolutely no excuse for any of that. And if and if we're not you saying, know, you know, and, yeah, nobody's jail. saying that he knew about that. But there's no way that you could be in a place for 13 years and not see some some stuff. No, they would wrap kids up in carpets, duct tape mm -hmm. them in carpets, put them in isolation for hours, maybe even longer. Um, you're not allowed to do that to students. And thank God the place that I worked never did shit like that. Thank God. Right. Doesn't so matter if those students were on drugs. That don't matter. No, it doesn't matter. Doesn't They're, matter. Still your They're still your student. You still have an obligation right. to protect them. And, and you don't and, get to treat them like that. You just don't get to do that. But in my opinion, they had more of an obligation to protect them than not only just being their teacher. They, the, those kids live there. Yeah, they were is a residential facility, so it's even worse. Yeah. And so they, they had functioned pure... the school like families. They structured the school, not function, sorry. They structured the school like families, supposedly. How creepy and weird is that anyway? I don't know. It's weird. Um, him working there with a record, the rule is supposed to be that if you're a felon, you're not allowed to do that. But in the case of private schools, pretty much anything can go. If the owners are willing to take you, then you know, and you're allowed to be there. And, and I don't know, you know, I don't know what the laws in this state are because the laws, you know, in our state are in, that you can't, if you're, a, if you have a felony record, you're not allowed to work with students like that. But I have seen, uh, in, especially in cases where, uh, families are running things, you know, that family members will sometimes, you know, be allowed certain things that they probably wouldn't be allowed if they weren't family members. Hey, wild one. It's well, crazy. Hey, wild one. I mean, imagine, uh, just imagine you're a, a kid. You're locked, you're, you locked away from home. You've obviously been through something before you got there. Then you have this cult saying, you know, I'm going to wrap you in the, as a punishment that was getting wrapped in a carpet and locked in a closet. Am I wrong? Say that again. Um, as a punishment, wrapped in a carpet or a blanket. They would also wrap them in blankets, uh -huh. put them in a closet. Yeah. And isolate them. Yes. Yes. All, all yes. illegal. You're not allowed to do any of that. Yeah. No. Then, then. You take that kid to church twice a day because, you know, it's built on a family foundation family. and it's built on Jesus. Yes. Creepy as fuck. If I was you, Merb, I would not have brought this up. I wouldn't I wouldn't have brought it to your channel. Not at all. Um, Bad move. What, Bad mm -hmm. move. Look what, what Pink said. said. Merb made the victims look like the perpetrators by saying they flirted and deserved it somehow. I want her to drop me a link. I have so much to say to her. Listen, listen. Uh, I'm not saying that students, because in California, I don't, I mean, I don't know how it is where they are, but special ed students are allowed to stay in special ed until they're 22. That's a grown person. And sometimes they would flirt with staff or they would flirt I, with, uh, whatever, but they're, you that school still is have, 19. Okay. But you still have to have boundaries. Mm -hmm. You still have to, I don't care if they flirted. I don't care if they walked up to you naked. You still have to have boundaries. Right, Brantley. <laughs> Sorry. Um, we had, we had a coach at school. Hold on. I'm sorry. We had oh. a coach at school that was just gorgeous. Gorgeous. And all the girls flirted. We all flirted with him. He was married, had kids. We flirted. Guess what he didn't do? Right. He never flirted back. Exactly. He never, that's, so no, that was not on the kids. No. If he had, if he had made the move on a 15, 16 year old, that right. wouldn't have been her fault. No, I don't care how much they flirt. I don't care. They're the student. You are the teacher. Yes. Um, there's a boundary there that you keep. You hold that line. Moral code. Exactly. Yes, exactly. 
And I'm not saying it doesn't happen. It absolutely doesn't happen. Mm -hmm. It does happen. But there is, a, yes, Tevi, there's a power imbalance. Mm -hmm. You are the teacher or the, the aide or the staff person, whoever you are. They're the student. It's off limits no matter what. I don't care. I don't care how much they flirt. I don't care what they do to you. I don't care what they offer you. Uh, I don't care. You know, like I said, we had, I mean, I, when I say come up to you naked, I'm not making that up. That happens. Uh, all kinds of things happen. And you have to realize that these are kids that have been through some shit. Yes. Lots of shit. They didn't just start out like this. They, they ended up like this because of the shit that they've been through. So to them, it might seem normal to behave mm -hmm. that way, alert that way, try to get what they want by using their body or their, their whatever's. You are responsible for teaching them that that is not needed. It is not okay. You don't have to do that. You There's better, more appropriate ways to get the things you need or the things you want. That's your job. That's why you're there. So I don't want to hear that, you know, these girls deserved it because they were flirting. Merb, no ma'am, no ma'am. And here's the thing. I agree with Randy. You should have never brought this up here because I have, there's not much else that I have a bigger passion for than these kind of students. You don't That's understand. Trying. The mm -mm. day that I walked on the campus, my first day there, I was terrified. And at the same time, that day, I knew why God had created me. I knew immediately what my calling was in my life, that these were, these were, this was it. This was my reason for living. And uh, there's not much else that I have a bigger passion for than kids that are, that have been through some trauma. Yes. And uh, to call them perpetrators uh, in any way, shape or form when you're defending the absolute oh. disaster of a staff is uh, outrageous. That and apparently hired anybody that just came in and put in an application because, because I'm not. Because, because they can't get, who wants to do that? These are places where you get kicked, spit, hit. Uh, oh, you yeah. get, I was stabbed twice at my jobs. Twice. You don't, there's no training for that. There's no amount of education for that. And the, and the staff is making minimum wage. They could go to McDonald's and not get kicked and spit at and threatened and hurt uh, and make the same money. Like they mm -hmm. take anyone they can take because they need bodies. They need anybody. Right. And There's I'm not, no I'm not saying doing. that, that her husband is uneducated. I'm not saying that because I heard a clip where he said he has a, a master's. I'm not saying he's uneducated, but he definitely did the exact same thing that you're doing with other things in your life and sticking his head in the sand and you're sticking your head in the sand. And you know what happens? You just end up with sand up your nose and the lot and life goes on. That's it. You waited to the, the, I'm telling Wendy, when I say this is the worst time that she could have ever talked about this, just when this man gets arrested and she say, um, she, because maybe she, she sees, sees it. She sees it as an opportunity to clear Jimmy. She's like, Oh, see, it was all this man. It was all this man. No, it wasn't over 150 alumni have taken their own lives. It was like right. 166. The last time I, I looked just the Think other day. About that. Think about that. Think about that. That makes me mad. Have Humble taken yourself their life because of mm -hmm. the shit they endured at this school, and you want to point it at one man? It is not one man. This is an entire problem. This whole thing, and your husband may not have committed a crime himself, and I'm not accusing him of, of committing any crime. So please do not misquote me on that. But I do not believe at all that he could be there for 13 years and see nothing. Right. There's no he way. Why did he have run-ins with the, with the guy? Why do you have run-ins? His words, not mine. His words. We'll play them for you, Friday. I don't have any of his words, so hopefully you have those clips. I um, yeah, I, I my do. nose is stuffy because of allergies. I'm sorry. I know. I just realized that my nose is really stuffy. It's allergies. I'm not sick at all. Even when the spotlight is, is now on the Nebraska. victims. Merv wants to Merv wants attention on her to try to control the narrative. Narcissistic piece of shit. Absolutely. I, I saw the videos on Cluster B 
And I saw how she treated one of the students, Monica. I don't know who she is. Monica, if you ever want a platform girl, come in here. You can have one tonight or Friday, yeah. whenever you want one girl. Um, but, you know, she spoke Ash. to her like a dog in the street. Hey, Ash. Spoke to her like a dog in the street. These are supposedly the people's stories you want to tell. But she made it clear that the only stories she's interested in telling are the are the sto stories of the students who liked Jimmy. Yeah. And that's there's not, no doubt. That, that's not supporting any survivors. Yeah, he doesn't have he doesn't have the actions of someone that would be abusive or cruel. There's absolutely an allegation. Play that for you Friday. There is an allegation. She did treat Monica like crap. I mean, just the but, clip alone that I saw, I was furious. I was like, how are you, how dare you talk to her like this? How dare you invalidate her story without even talking to her? Give her a link. Right. Let her come and tell her story. Merv is so overly concerned with people because it's not people, it's not that she cares that Jimmy looks bad. She thinks she looks bad. Yes. Because ding, of ding, 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 ding. Yes. Jimmy makes her look bad. This over Jimmy's head makes her look bad. Gives the haters something to talk about. Who was talking about this? Nobody. Nobody. Nobody was talking about this, but we're all talking about it now. I don't know I'm why you, you opened this can of worms, honey. This was a bad idea, I man. I can't believe you said that. Oh, I was about to say that. You you waited till he got arrested, then you took the can, the oh, the top yep. right off the can of worms. Spilled it right and, out all over the deck, man. Everybody's and what y'all thought, out. what you thought was those students would cower down like they did when they are kids. No. Right. They're my age now. Right. And the ones, the ones that have survived, God bless them, the ones that didn't take their lives, the ones that were able to somehow, by the grace of God, survive are stronger than ever. And they can and they're see pissed. This, this absolute bullshit. This absolute and bullshit of you pretending that you give a fuck about victims when you don't. But but think about this too. So these kids, which are they're adults now, these these people they lived that. This man, he's going to trial. He's going to spend the rest of his life in prison. Yeah, if they can prove all the shit, if they can prove everything he's been accused of, then yes, he is. Yes, and he's charged. He's charged with six things that I saw. Uh, three of them carry a sentence of 10 years each and $250,000 fine each. The other three carry a sentence of 15 years each and $250,000 fine each. So this man, if they can prove everything that they're accusing him of, uh, he's, we're never going to see him again. He's gone. Which I Googled him. He needs to be gone. And the thing, I, these people, these they're going to relive their childhood. They're going to yep. read that. That's what's happening. It's all coming back to them. The stuff right. that they tucked away so they could live their life yes. and not end their life like 160. That's 160 yeah. people who right. are no longer on this earth. Right. Right. And you don't have the compassion to say, hey, would you like to come up and talk about it? You, we don't have to discuss my husband and how great he was. Right. But she no, doesn't you're think like, like that. No. She thinks that, you know, the haters are going to talk about, you know, only Jimmy and that makes her look bad. That's all this is for her. She this That's all this is. She doesn't give a shit about any of those victims. She doesn't care. I don't believe it, that at all. I don't either. And you know what makes you look bad isn't the fact that this, it makes you, well, it makes you look bad that you're in the chat saying, I don't think you went to that school. Right. Monica. Monica. Yeah. Like all of a sudden, oh, Monica a oh, a a a... Is, is this you? Oh, I'm a victim. Oh, I, I went to that school. And prove it. Prove it. That was wow. you. Mark. Wow. That was you. That's you in the same breath trying to talk about how you want to share the survivor stories. No, you don't, bitch. No, you don't. You're no, disgusting. you don't. You don't care about the survivors. And that's exactly what they are, survivors. And that also, at one time, they were victims. Who were they victims of, Merb? They were victims 
of every staff person that hurt them and every staff person that said nothing. Yes. And if that includes Jimmy, then so be it. I didn't know it was 13 years. Can anyone verify that? I just, I saw that. I don't know if it's verified or not. So if it's not true, let me know. I don't want to put out wrong information. But somebody did tell, say six, 13 years, and I just threw up in my that mouth. I blew my mind. 13 years. That's insane. That's not six months. That's not, you know, I was only working there temporarily. But 13 years? And you saw nothing? How? How is that Rosebud. possible? Rosebud said that's right. Can we get some more people to verify? The, the thing is, is when you look the other way, a child was getting beat. Right. A child was getting wrapped up. A child was getting put in a closet while you looked away. Right. You don't get out of this unscathed. I'm sorry. You just don't. And they read those kids' letters when they wrote their parents so they couldn't tell their parents what was going on. Wow. Those kids had nobody. No. Nobody, nobody fighting for them. Nobody, nobody willing to hear them out. That's what, and now 160 souls lost. I don't know how you can sleep at night. You shouldn't have opened this can of worms, Merv. Mm -mm. This was a bad idea. Yeah, because I had <laughs> never really looked into the school. I'd never, never. you know, I'd, neither. I, neither. Yeah, no, yeah, me and you talked about it. We were just kind of like, no, that's for this. And this, you know, you was kind of telling me about the, the, this was several months ago, about where you worked and, all yes. that stuff. Yes. And, and I know I know how these things happen. And it is, you know, it very much is. Um sometimes people they don't they're not trained, they don't know how to handle certain things, and they handle things badly. And you know, I've I've fired staff for that. Um I've I've been part of, you know, if you think I'm a fun suck here, try working with me. Uh, <laughs> I, <laughs> I uh I reported lots of things, lots of things. Um, I, and I only, I worked there half the time that Jimmy worked at that school. So I don't want I don't believe you. I, I think you're wrong. I, I think you're and, lying. And I was one of the people I can't say, won't say, but that was untrained. That was put in a situation where I didn't know what to do, but you know what I did do? I would go say something. I would go when I saw something that wasn't right. I went straight and said something. I never yeah. said on my laurels. You did. Right. Right. You can't do that. Your, your ultimate job is to protect students, period. I don't care if you don't like them. I don't care if they're assholes. Some of the students were actual pricks. They were terrible. They were horrible. They did lots of mean things to lots of people because they'd been through some trauma. These aren't healthy, normal kids that are functioning. No, they're not. They, they need to learn how to function. You're supposed to teach them that. Instead, you wrap them up in a carpet, duct tape them and throw them in a closet. What, what is that teaching them? Like it's, there's so many things that are wrong. And I've never, I've never looked into the school in spite, in spite of the fact that I'm very passionate about this topic for my own personal experience, obviously. I've never looked into this story. Um, but she brought it here. She brought it here and definitely piqued my interest. And yeah, first place I went was to get the indictment. I wanted to read the indictment for Paul Gear. Um, I'll be following that case. We'll definitely keep you updated if you guys want to hear about it. Um, and I'm not, uh, I'm not accusing Jimmy of anything other than not reporting when he probably should have. I, uh, Starlight, that name sounds so familiar. So I want to say, I, I, no, I can't she was say. Not the, she was not the prince. Jody Hildebrand is with Ruby Frank. She's not the principal of that school at all. Oh, I was going to say, golly, that name is just so familiar. Yeah, so maybe familiar she is. because of Ruby Frank. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, basically, though, it's the in same a way. idea. Same idea. Yeah. Just because some students weren't abused doesn't mean it never happened. Absolutely. Absolutely. There are kids that know how to play the system. They know yes, how to they're... act right. They know how to act right and not get not get tied up in a carpet. Right. And those become that. the favorites. Those become the favorites. Absolutely. Every, all the, other, those yeah. are the stories. Those are the stories she's gonna tell. 
We can mm-hmm. all handle those stories, bitch. I want to hear from the people that crawled out by the skin of their teeth. That's what I want to hear from. Those are the stories that need to be told. Those are the people that need the support. The straight A students that that soared through because they knew how to play the game, probably okay. The ones that were tortured and managed to live to tell about it, Thank those you. are the stories I want to hear. Those are the people that I want to support. Yes, Tevi. And a lot mm-hmm. of times that happens. They they come from group homes. They can't even, they're not even in their own families anymore because they can't, they can't handle those kids. So they're, they live in group homes. Then they come to a school. I mean, they're treated like cattle. It's, it's, it's not a perfect system by any stretch, even with oh. the best, even with the best teachers and the I best staff. There 12 years and 10 months. Okay. 12 years and 10 months, almost 13 years. Wow. So I'm sorry, sir. I would take that off my resume, but I would, that would not be on mine. I'm just saying, especially with a felony conviction. I don't even know how you got in. I don't know how the state let you do that. Most states would come down on that pretty hard. Ours would. And, and we got, we got, um, they call it a, uh, a CDE review, Cal, uh, California Department of Education review. This was in Cal, this was in California. And um, I would run point on those reviews. So I was in charge of making sure that not only our campus, but uh, the other campuses that we had uh, were all in compliance in every way, shape or form. All of the files, all of the documents, all of the practices, all of the school requirements, like for graduating students, um, everything. I was in charge of making sure that all of that was in compliance. It was a lot of work, um, but I loved it. It was worth it. And I'm not saying that there weren't things that that happened that you know were not okay, but I know I didn't hide my head in the sand. If I saw something, I said something every time, and I would do it again. To save any child from being a hmm, mm-mm. And see, I know this has been discussed ad nauseum from some people. This is new to us. That's what's crazy. Is yeah, we've never talked about this here. No. Yeah. No, because it. I look. I don't. I'm not into revictimizing people. You know. And I didn't. Know, I thought that everybody had been punished. I didn't know this guy hadn't been arrested. I didn't know that the abusers were still walking out like nothing happened. I had no idea. Right. Right. What's amazing to me is how long ago this happened with this guy mm-hmm. and he's still being arrested. Like it happened last week. Like, it's amazing to me. I'm, I'm so, I'm so thankful that they can still get him on this and that statute of limitations hasn't, you know, run out. Yeah. That Debbie. Maybe. That yeah. maybe that's why it all you know it came down to right now. I don't know. I I don't know. Maybe they yeah. finally got enough victims. Um I can't I just can't see standing for nothing and falling for everything. I can't. It is Rosebud, you're absolutely right. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, so um, I know that uh, there's a lady right now that had a run-in with Merb, mm-hmm. and her name is what was her name? The something. Your favorite Merb, villain. Yeah, your favorite villain. That's who it is. Yeah, your favorite villain. Here is her um, link. If you guys want to sub to her, here's just one of her channel. Here, I'll just get you the link to her whole channel. You guys probably already Amazing. have this. Yeah. Bitey Cat tagged me in a post. Um, and I didn't know what it was. This is her link. Uh, she tagged me in a post. I didn't know what it was. Uh, and then, because, you know, I've been busy, y'all, with my boys and stuff. So I wasn't keeping up with it. But then uh, I went ahead and c- 
caught up a little bit and uh, she's fantastic. There's the link to her channel. Please subscribe to her. I don't know. Is she, is she the Monica? Is that her? Or is she somebody else? She's somebody else. But I think what she said was somebody, she was, she was talking about the school on TikTok. Somebody came across it and sent her okay. that, the link. Gotcha. Gotcha. Yeah. We so got she, you. She's fantastic. I very much enjoy her videos and uh, she tells it like it is. She's not Monica. Okay. Thank you. Um, I just didn't want to, I, 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 I know that I have pieces missing and I don't want to say the wrong information. So uh, yeah, we'll definitely talk about this more on Friday. Mm -hmm. Uh, and if she ever wants a platform, she has her own platform for sure. She's got a nice size channel, but if mm -hmm. she ever wants to come here and tell more of her story, we'd love to host her, um, in a second. And we definitely, uh, we definitely have her back. Yeah. No, no kid deserved that. None. None. You think about your childhood and then you think about her childhood. I'm not yeah. saying everybody had a perfect one, but you know, I never got wrapped in a carpet, typed up, stuffed in a closet. Especially by people who are supposed to protect you. That's not okay. Right. Because once you once you decide to work at a place where the kids are there twenty four seven, you're the yeah. you're also a parent to those children. Mm -hmm. yeah. And that's how you have to look at it. But, but you don't have the rights that parents have. You don't have the right to put your hands on kids. You don't mm -hmm. have your right to discipline them the way that, you know, parents have legal rights to do some things. Not every, obviously not everything, but you, you're not their parent. You're still their teacher. There's still boundaries there. And you're responsible, even more responsible to make sure these kids understand what healthy boundaries are because they don't, they don't know what healthy boundaries are. They've never seen them before in their life. You're responsible for helping shape those kids for the future, for, you know, preparing them for what is in the world, what they're going to see when they're out of your school. And 160 kids taking their own lives in part, probably most likely from what they experienced there. Mm. It, just think about I, it. I don't like know this. why you brought attention to this. Right? I don't either. Because those kids didn't turn out good, didn't turn out well, didn't turn out great. Because of anything that was done at that school, they turned out great in spite of what yes. happened at that school. Yeah. Yeah. They clawed their way out of a hole. Mm -hmm. They did everything they could to endure and get out with their life. And I don't know Absolutely how they calamity. survived, but they did. Thank God. It is heartbreaking. And, uh, you know, you bringing this up because you think that you look bad. Um, this isn't making you look any better. No. And attacking, attacking a student who stumbles into your chat, you know, thinking that you want to tell the survivor's stories and you want to be there for the survivors. And so she walks in thinking that you're a safe place and you attack her too. Like, you're not in any position to be talking about this. I don't know why you are. Yeah. What are you going to say? Good. Remember the one guy that was nice to you? He was so nice to you, but right. he didn't tell when anything bad was happening. It, it, right. Oh. At the end of the day, he had his fellow teachers and staffs back, not the students back. Right. Sorry. You don't get it. I you think, don't get it me. I think what you just said is like the complete consensus of what's happened at that school. The staff had the staffs back. Yep. Nobody had the kids. Right. Right. Maybe Alabama was trying to show them. Their mom did not show them how to take a bath or anything. Yes. Yes. Bless you for doing that, Jamie May. Yes. It's not easy. I'm not pretending that it is. Some of these kids have been through some shit and they, you know, they act accordingly, you know. And yeah. um, I've been hurt. I have permanent injuries uh, from some of the stuff I've experienced there. Well, but yeah, she got stabbed twice. I did. Stabbed. Yeah. Stabbed. Twice. And you know what she didn't do? Knock the kid out. Did Stab punch him back. Him? No, no, nope. I didn't tie him up in a carpet. I didn't do any of that. No, right. no, I didn't. And I didn't hold it against him either. It's not. It's not. 
And I'm not saying that they're not responsible for their own behavior. Of course they are. But somewhere along the line, somebody didn't do what they should have done. And that's why some of these kids end up in schools like this. And wow, I didn't want to be, I wasn't going to be one more person who didn't do what needed to be done. You know, I just wasn't going to do it anyway. And it, and like I said, there's few things on this earth that I'm more passionate about than this. Uh, so crazy Daisy. Yeah. I would say that a lot is about to come out a lot because this guy, y'all think he's just going to take all the blame. No, he's about to sing like a canary. You can look at him and tell. Well, yeah, I would imagine if he's got any other fingers to point, he's going to point him anywhere he can because he's looking mm -hmm. at a shitload of time, a shitload of money. And these are, these are 40 year old allegations. So there's a lot that's gone down. Yep. He's got 10 yeah. toes to point and 10 yeah. fingers to point. And that's what's about yes. to happen. Yeah. Yeah. And if I was Merb, I would have drawn zero attention. Like you got enough going on, lady. Right. Hell to the no. I saw you in the chat. Oh, thank you, Pink. I appreciate that. I mean, it was, it was, like I said, I, it was, I was created for that. I mean, I just, I'm not that I was wonderful or any better than anybody else, but when you can see kids like that and not, um, hate them. The the amount of patience that, and I'm not just saying this because Wendy's my best friend or anything like that. The amount of patience that Wendy has is absolutely astonishing to me. The advice she gives, it's you just feel touched. You just feel when when Wendy tells you something, you could tell that she she's saying all of it out of love, and you you have a gift. Well, thank you. I appreciate that. You're welcome. Um, hell to the no. I've been keeping up with your case. And I don't want to say things about it that, you know, you don't want said. But if you are okay with it, I would love to do an update on where your case is. Because I cannot believe where what the just the shenanigans, frankly, the absolute shenanigans that she's pulling. With this court. It's crazy to me. That's on top of all this shit with the school. Like she's got a whole other bush. Burning over here in the back corner. I don't know how. What I don't know what she's doing. I'll tell you what yes, I'd have been right. doing. I would have been gluing shit to shells. That's what I would have been doing. You got plenty okay. of shell. I'd be gluing like a mug. Yeah. Okay. Hell to know. Thank you. Yeah. No, I, I have. I have all the documents. Uh, but yes, yeah, send me anything you want me to cover. My sister-in-law works in a similar school. She frequently comes home with bruises and scratches. Yep, yep, yep. I could never do her job. I have such a respect for you. I'm, not, you know, the first two weeks, I spent, uh, you know, stood up against a wall, going, "This is how I'm going to die. I'm going to die here. This is it. This is it. This is how I go. Uh, I'm going to mm -hmm. die here. So they're going to kill me." And then after that, I kind of got my groove a little, and I just, you know, was able to. I think, you know, make a, make a big change in a lot of kids' lives. Thank God. Takes patience, love, and commitment, understanding. As far as reviews, we come with a shit ton of baggage. And we will test those that take, that take us in with expectation of being tossed away. Absolutely. Yes. 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 Uh, yeah, I don't understand what she's doing with her legal affairs. Fucking turn your paperwork in, Merb. It's not going well for you, honey. And then she tried to make a comment the other night about somebody using an avatar uh which is a bad idea because they're in in a case right now i don't know if she was referring to hell to the no or not but hell to the no can use any avatar she damn well wants the case isn't for harassment stupid it's for copyright and you still can't get your paperwork in ma'am i i don't understand i don't understand the stuff that she's doing with this court is hilarious to me she's gonna get held in contempt of court i don't understand i don't understand what she's doing Maybe you need to focus on one thing at a time, ma'am. I would. Saying. One thing at a just take take Your one thing at full. a time. <laughs> Your hands are full, sweetie. You don't you shouldn't be doing, you know, two giant things at once. I just don't mm -mm. see that going well for you. And, and, and I, so for some reason I have a feeling that she has a project going somewhere. You know, so there's a project 
And then these. <laughs> these well, other and then days. I just realized. I just realized, guys. What time of the year is it? Celebrate good times. Come no, on. No, no. I mean, it might be that too. It's tax season, y'all. It's tax time. Uh. Remember last time she wanted to do, pay her taxes, what she did? She tried taking a swing at me and Randy. That didn't work mm -hmm. out very well. Um, and she's doing, I think that's what she's doing again. She's the timing of this is not lost on me. The time. That's what I said. Mm -hmm. Tax time. Mm -hmm. I just don't think that's how it works, Merb. No, that's not. I know it's not. I thought you was talking about she's about to go on her celebration and just I mean, act she like might, you know. she might be, but it's definitely tax time. I think that's why she's trying to, you know, she's Thank trying you, to Tara. get some get some traction on her channel. But really, she probably should just stay focused on the things that are going to get her held in contempt of court and find almost three thousand dollars. But you know, whatever, I don't know, whatever. I, mean, I appreciate you saying that. Tara, and I can say this, any student that I've ever worked with, I promise you, I left them better than I found them. Every single one. But I knew I worked a year in special needs. And when I knew that wasn't for me, which I knew like day two, I didn't go back after that. That was, I couldn't do it. There's special people made for that. And when you're not one of those people don't you can't make yourself be or you shouldn't make yourself be one i mean it is i you know it's definitely it's definitely hard to explain to your family or your friends or even other colleagues about you know why you choose to work at a place where you get stabbed um you know you mm. have a master's degree and you know several credentials what are you doing uh, you could be making twice as much uh, any somewhere else, um, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. It doesn't, uh, but once you, I don't know. It's like, once you know why God created you, it's hard to, it's hard to enjoy anything else, Yeah. but it's not easy. And those kids remember, they mm. remember how they were treated by you. If you treated them well, with respect, with rules, with boundaries, and I had rules and boundaries, plenty of them, uh, which I'm sure it comes as no surprise to many of you. <laughs> I had many <laughs> rules, many boundaries. You know, my my class ran like a well-oiled machine. It did uh, on purpose. And it was great. I had I had the best class on campus. I did. I believe that. Um, I had we were the class that people came and we were the first place they toured. You know, didn't matter if their students weren't deaf. Didn't matter. <laughs> Come see this class. It's the best class we have. And it was. It was a great class. I had great students. Great students that just needed someone to communicate with them. And what you don't want to be known as is the fun teacher. I was a fun teacher, though. They had a great time. We had a great now, time in my class. Uh, but well, I, was, I believe that. But yeah. his words are, you know, I was the fun one. I was the fun one. That's. Yeah, no. That, no. that tells that you a lot. That can't be the goal. That can't be the goal. I don't want to You're be not there to be their friend. friend. Correct. Correct. You're not there to be their friend. You're there to teach them about what, you know, what the future is going to be like. Cause they're only with you for a handful of seconds and then that's it. They're out in the world and they're going to go to jail. And that's what, that's what I showed them. You do this shit out somewhere else. You're going to jail. I was honest with them. Yes. You can't do this stuff. You can't throw a desk at somebody. No, that's not how you do that. Um, we had great. Oh, I loved it, man. God, I have so many. I have so many stories, so many crazy memories. Um, so much of it was hard and grueling and painful. And uh, much, much, much more of it was miracles. Watching these kids become healthy, normal, uh, normal. There's no such thing as normal, but, you know, typical, able to behave in a classroom, sending them back to their district you know, with skills to cope and skills to handle frustration and anger, sending them back, telling parents, telling me they don't even recognize their own children anymore because they're so different now that that's what I remember. That's what I carry. And I'm, I'm so proud of every single one of them, but I didn't cross boundaries with them. I didn't get on the internet and be on their Facebook with them. 
Uh, I didn't, uh, I wasn't their friend. I had boundaries. You have to. Someone has to. They've never had boundaries in their life. They don't know what's normal, what's not normal, what's okay, what's not okay. They don't know. You have to teach them that. Oh, Tavy, that's so good. Still friends with the kids she went to boarding school with. I love that. Yeah, they remember forever. They remember forever. And they remember more how you made them feel. Not necessarily yeah. what you did to them. They remember you how, you made, how you made them feel. And if you make them feel like pieces of shit, that's what they're going to go home thinking that that's okay. You can't do that. Well. Yeah. Every single day when the kids would leave, we would do the, the I love you. You know the I love you in sign language? Mm -hmm. So we would do like a high five, but with I love you hands. So at least oh. somebody that day told them that they were loved, you know, all wow. of them, every single student, even my nonverbal kiddos knew how to do it every single time, every day. And every time they walked in the room, I was happy to see them. You just have to be fake it. You have to be, yeah. they need to see that. They need to see that somebody cares about them. And that doesn't mean go across state lines and have sex with them. You fucking freak. I hope you go to jail for a very long time. You disgusting animal. Well, he got zero, um, he has zero bond. He can't get out, so. Good. Yeah, I hope he stays there. I do. Good. Just well, y'all, it's been two hours. We better go and uh, get ready for. Uh, we'll, yeah, we'll talk more about this on Friday. We'll go over the indictment. It's gross, so be ready. Uh, and we'll also kind of catch up on Hell to the Nose case because uh, it's pretty interesting what's happening there. Yes. And hell to the know if there are any updates that I need to know about, please, you know, fill me in, hit me up on discord or whatever. Thank you, Judith. I love you, honey. Thank you. Appreciate that. Hi, prickly pear. Y'all have a good night and we'll see y'all next time. See you Friday. Bye y'all. If not before then. Bye.